or anything. I don't know. Maybe they want to run an Anivia mid and don't want to have that lane swap counter. That's a very strange... I can't... Why? It, it is a Wait. little bit of a strange ban. I'm going to see if I can find the picks and bans for um, uh, a Nexus uh, to see if Ocar was playing a lot of Caitlyn yesterday. It does seem a little bit strange. He did play Caitlyn in their very first matchup against SK Gaming. A Nexus, he played Caitlyn again uh, against SK Telecom 1. So it is uh, the fact that Ocar has actually been playing a lot of Caitlyn. So it is targeted, just getting it out of his hands. And of course, uh, a Nexus, they're saying, nope, we don't want that singed. And uh, there's the follow-up bans too. Blaze banning out that... Uh, sorry, not Blaze, but the Nexus banning out that Singe. Blaze banning out that Twisted Fate, just like we saw before, taking that away from Selva. He ran that flash teleport Twisted Fate yesterday. Did, did quite well with it. It was the pressure that was there. I mean, the rest of the game was a little bit sloppy, the fires were a mess, but the pressure that you can put on with that uh, ever-present teleport thing, and even when some of the teleports on cooldown, he's got his ultimate. It's like, you're never really sure which one's up, which one's on cooldown. You've always got that looming over you. So, so Interesting strategy. Yep. But, Middle uh, band again, not too surprising. Yeah. And, and Elise. Elise, Elise so used a great effect in the first quarterfinal of the day. And, you know, almost unkillable with a flash with repel. It's very difficult to gank. There's a, a number of escape routes that you can use as long as there are some minions and monsters around you to get to safety. So one band left for a Nexus, and they do remove Kale from the pool. So Rumble instantly locked in. Very quick. Pre -pre Does mean Shen is available. Does mean Shen is available. But uh, he was in the last game. That's right, he was completely, completely ignored. ignored in completely ignored. The first time we saw a game without him picked or banned. But the same happened for Thresh in the last ban phase, and he was picked instead. And it made quite a mess of the Nexus roster, I think is the way to put it. So that's still there. Last Boy is waiting. There's the option. And we have the possibility right now of seeing Ambition's Jarvan again, which was incredible in the last game. And speaking of the whole Tristana thing, Jarvan's my favorite champion. I was going to say, you were fanboying a bit on the Jarvan. A little bit. Yeah, just, just yeah. a little bit. Uh, I have to I have to touch on this for a very quick second because we still haven't seen Ambition lock in a champion. It has been Thresh. Yep. Okay, so now what, what CG enters Blaze is doing right now is they're, they're making a very big psychological play for an Exus because they're saying, look, you've seen Rumble, you've seen Jarvan, you've seen Thresh. Do you think we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did last game? Well, no, or, Rumble. I'm uh, sorry, yeah, you know, are we going to do the same thing with Jarvan middle or, you know, uh, Jarvan, you know, uh, middle being played by Ambition? Are we going to put him in the jungle? It, it starts to make you questions in the mind, you know, what are they going to do? It's still a very aggressive all-in type of champion. Instead of Jax, it's going to be, you know, Rumble diving forward going in. And as an Exus, how do you respond to that? Trundle would actually be a very good pick. Like the pillar of the possibility in his ultimate, his ultimate against the very armor stack heavy Thresh, very armor stack heavy, uh, health heavy Jarvan. Very useful, interesting idea. We've seen a couple of people try and bring it back over in NA, but not having too much success with it. But, I mean, this is do or die now for an Exus. This is win or go home. They came out of the group stage, a lot of people didn't expect that much. Why not try something a little bit funky, try something a little bit different? They have switched away, they might not go with it yet. They still have one more final pick, but more importantly, Seleva has that Lux. Lux, who has seen a couple of bans throughout the tournament, seen some big plays from her, and Rapid Star. Again, I don't want to go back over that game too much, but Rapid Star in those games against Millennium landing some very clutch playing, some incredible lasers, and there is the potential for Seleva to do just that. He is a very strong Lux player. If that is the case, do you expect them to leave, I mean, their support for last pick? I mean, it's very interesting. That it's just a, a, a talking point. Generally, you leave that last pick, you know, to counter pick if you're going to play a mid or a top lane. So there's a very tiny possibility it's going to be luck support. Uh, realistically, I don't, I don't expect it's it myself, but it could be. Not a bad option, to be honest. I mean, the two of those two, um, Varus and Lux, there's quite a bit of range in there. So you catch that, you get that full burst down from Lux, and you get quite a bit of full burst down from and a follow up snare in the uh, Varus ultimate. So it's not a bad initiate, but. We'll wait and see. They have got a couple of swaps to go. There is Misfortune and Ezreal both locked here for CJ Blaze. And last time we saw this was, of course, Millennium. They ran the Thresh with the Ezreal down in the bottom lane, but arguably there's more damage and more aggression coming from Thresh and Misfortune. And the fact that Captain Jax picked the Misfortune, I expect he, he's going to keep it. That's not to say he will. We've seen teams swapping around just for mind games and things before. So we'll have to wait and see until the timer starts to tick down exactly where they leave them. But it's the possibility LeBron. of an AP peck. And AP Peke? He's hovering on LeBlanc, man. Yeah, LeBlanc for a Nexus at the moment. If he decides to go for that, uh, the very early game is going to be so difficult against whoever's in that mid lane. Uh, it does need some additional ability. If Zyra gets locked in, again, there's some utility in that Zyra and Lex could swap, but it would probably mean there's going to be Zyra's Varus bottom lane. Yeah. yeah. So interesting from a Nexus. It looks as though they are saving that support pick for last. And, uh, you know, CJ enters Blaze doing something a little different. You know, maybe pulling a page out of Millennium's playbook. 
having a little bit of fun. I think the way they go. They've got that buffer now. They've got that extra game. They are enjoying themselves. And there's a last quick switch to Lulu then from an Ace's Erotic. That's going to be the support. I like that pick. I mean, you've got um, Zin Zhao in there. Does charge straight into the enemy team with that quick wild growth. Gives him a bit of a heal. Gives him a massive knockup. Gives him a slow onto everyone that he hits. Very nice way to engage it. Same thing can be done for um, Darius. He pulls everyone into him. Then you make him huge. Knocks everyone. They just pulled in up. Slows him down. Lots of damage on there. So there's a couple of options with that. And of course, if that's Worst case scenario, you can still use it to just save logs or virus or something like that. It's a nice big heal, and that glitter lance is huge. The scary thing is the zone control from Blaze right now. Equalizer, Cataclysm, Bullet Time, the box. The amount of, of width and area control that's going to give with slows and, and everything, it is a very scary prospect. We'll see how, how effectively Blaze can pull that off. Are we going to see an AP or an AD as in the mid? No idea. He's no running teleport. That's what we're going to see. So it's going to be everywhere. All right, well, the players are ready. The casters are ready. Our casters this time are Joe Miller and Jason Kaplan. They're going to do the most insane job you've ever seen. I'm sure of it. Let's have fun. Thanks a lot, guys. So game number two of Blaze versus the Nexus. Of course, the scoreline is one to zero in this best of three to Blaze. They're just one short step away from that semifinal. I'm sure, okay, it's, it's really disrespectful, but I'm sure that step really feels a little short after that first game. After that landslide victory they really had, I mean, they probably... Yeah, they were very strong. They're probably going into this game thinking, you know, this one won't be that bad. Let's play some, you know, fun champions because they haven't really played uh, these champions throughout the entire tournament so far. We haven't seen Ambition on Azure, obviously. We haven't seen Helios on Jarvan just yet. And we saw obviously Lust Boy on Thresh last game, but they're just playing, you know, some fun champions right now. And, you know, I, I don't know how to really take that. Well, who says it's fun champions? Boy, I'm your Ezreal. He's always fun. Well, <laughs> I mean, this can be part of their setup as well. It's not as if we've not seen two ADs coming out before, uh, if we think back to that last Millennium That's game, true. for example. Uh, but we'll have to see what ambition goes for. And he's gone straight in for that Doran's Blade at the start. And interesting enough, Flame is actually running 33 ability power at level one. That's a lot of uh, a lot of damage Flame's gonna be putting out, especially when he has cloth armor five pots as well. And he's against a Darius. I mean, for Nexus, these are champions that have been playing this entire tournament. We've seen Silver on Lux multiple times, Arkel on Varus as well, and Overpower on Zin. I think three games yesterday, and did uh, extremely well with them. But Darius is always one of those champions that can, uh, you know, either go extremely extremely well for your team or just be kind of dead weight. Lost Boy actually getting in there to put that ward down. Erotic does have a pink if he wants to get rid of it. He may, may or may not choose to do one that since he's already got that ward down there. Now I've got Zazas waiting inside of the Tribush. Flame is going to come in there. Darius just spotting his position. Ward put down. And Anaxis, the they're putting a lot of words down like we saw in the last game. They really want to cover the entire map, give him that vision, and really prevent Overpower from getting invaded upon. Because last game, he was really like their rock. He was their, their go-to guy. He was always there for the counter ganks on Helios. He was really opening up some uh, some kills for his team. Unfortunately, they just all fell behind and weren't able to really go head-to-head -head against uh, against Blaze. Well, looks like this start's going to uh, turn out to be pretty standard after uh, all those wards going down. The late invade, of course, it's always possible. We'll have to see how that goes. Lost Boy and Captain Jack here going to be starting off with their golems. And I'm interested to see that they've allowed Lost Boy to have Thresh again. I mean, he was instrumental in that last game victory. He was like 4-0 and 12 at the end of that game. I mean, and he had like two, 3,000 gold to spend at the end of it. But every hook he landed just set up a kill one after another. And not to mention his ultimates. We saw on the top lane with him and Kaelin kiting uh, Overpow and kiting Zazus. And they ended up picking those two kills up. Played extremely well. And you can't, you can't let that happen. But hopefully a Nexus has an answer for it this time. Well, we're going to find out. Of course, Blaze 1-0 wow. up. And look at that pressure already from Ambition. And the Q wow. even landing onto Selva. He's forced him out of that lane already in Sullivan. Like, well, I guess uh, it's a good thing that I've got so many pots. Uh, I was trying to think if he's going to go for it because he's almost level 2 at this point. He could actually Arcane shift in and hit her with an auto attack and a Q, and it will finish off the kill. He is level 2 at this point. And as you see in the body, and Lust Boy being very aggressive down there with Captain Jack. Erotic actually manages to avoid the grab in there. Arquel turning around a bit of damage as well. Is Lulu forcing Lost Boy to uh, just back off somewhat as well, but they really need to be careful. That next grab that comes out could be uh, end up first blooded. Yeah, it very, it very well could, and that's the thing with Thresh. I mean, it's like a blitz screen. You create the opportunity for your team, or for your even your solo lane. You have to be very passive against them. Fortunately, he misses another hook down there, but we do see he is coming into this top, and looks like they want to go for a gank onto Zazas, but Overpower is there as well. 
Yeah, and the thing is, he's actually pushed quite far up here on that turret. We are oh, going to see Jarvan no. get in there. They're going to look to turn this one around as they're getting on towards Zazas. Can they get the finisher? Yes, they can. First blood comes in for Flame. Nicely done. And Overpower ran up there. as like, oh, and he's going to die. So I'm just going to run away back to my turret. I mean, Overpower was spotted by a ward as he went through that tri bush. So they knew he was coming in. Great job by Helios to really sit against that wall just to make sure he was not spotted at all. Picking up that first one in the top lane and heading it over to Flame. They want these double buffs here. Overpower actually flashing back towards his turret. They're going to get him as well. It's Flame that gets his second kill. Says, thank you very much for the double buffs. Have fun against me in lane now. Double buffs and two kills, Joe. He's sitting on 1,200 gold to spend at this point. There is, an, it's going to be so hard for Zaz to get back in the game. He's going, he was already behind, and just in terms of picking that champion, and he's had to wait till at level six to really. Oh, we do see a nice land on Arkel, but not able to commit to it under that turret. And you know, there's one thing we always forget about with the Q. It's when you get hit with it, you can't do anything, and it allows you to get, you know, a lot of free damage. And especially with Misfortune, you know, with the impure shots hitting them over and over again increases that damage you do. Um, well, at least the magic damage you do. Have a look at the early CS here. Don't really need to talk about the top anymore because that's <laughs> kind of obvious. Uh, middle lane though, 23 to 18. Celeva, after facing that a lot of early damage, is actually doing a decent job. He's actually going to get the binding on towards Ambition. Can he get the finisher? Yes, he can. Nicely done. Great job by Silver there. That was really close. Ambition stuck around just long enough thinking, wait, he's out of mana. I could probably do this. Even an auto-attack to minion, just get a little bit of life still back. But then it didn't matter. Silver picked up a kill for his team, and that's really going to be big for him. If he can get fed, he can get nice and, and fat, he can one-shot Misfortune, he can one-shot Thresh, he can one-shot Ezreal, and that will create a, a nice 5v4 opportunity for Nexus to win a fight. Four. Rumble's still 2-0. We should definitely not forget that one as Ambition will just teleport himself back into that middle lane. Overpower coming down on towards the bottom. Lost Boy already losing a lot of health in this one. Captain Jack actually is going to cleanse off here, but are they going to do enough to keep a hold of this one? Captain Jack goes down, but it's Erotic that picks up the kill. And Joe, I, I talked about this last... Oh, we do see Helios coming in. He's going to get Overpower. Yeah, oh, Helios is coming in from that side. He actually managed to avoid the hooking, but can he get the finish? He dives on towards Lost Boy. Lost Boy very, very low. Oh, there's the shield from the lantern. That will keep him alive. Erotic not able to pick up his second kill. That was a nice turnaround from Blaze. And Joe, I touched on this last game with, with Captain Jack and with Genja from Gambit Gaming. They both are running these like life, uh, lifesteal quints. And also, Captain Jack is going for this ghost cleanse thing that we've seen Genja do pretty much all last week in the Super Week of LCS. It looks like they're the two AD carries that are really ahead of the curve in what to go with. We don't necessarily need that flash as any carry, especially with Misfortune, but Ambition. Oh, a nice dodge onto that E. Yeah, really well done there by Ambition. This is his cue after I uh, praise him there, but <laughs> either way, he managed to get out of most of the damage that Celebert was sending his way. So that lane still in, fa in favor uh, in, in the CS for Ezreal, but of course looks with that kill. Got the Chalice in there now as well as the Boots, and is 200 gold in the lead. And even though we had Zaz get really far behind in that top lane, getting those two kills over to Flame, not to mention the double buff, he's actually farming pretty well under the turret at this point. I see in the bot lane, Captain Jack, I mean, he has those two Dorn's Blades, he has that Cloth Armor, and Herotic is already at half health. If you see Thrush land one Q onto Herotic, he's gonna drop. Well, I'll see an overpower coming down. This could be a bit of a savior for them. He's gonna go through that ward using the Lantern there to come back to safety, and overpower just turns around, realizing that he's not gonna be able to pick anything up. Zelda is now level six, though, so we've gotta keep an eye out for those lasers getting involved around the map. Also, in the top lane, Flame is level six to the five of Zazus. Trying to harass him under turret, but you see right here, Lust Boy, he's trying to push up. He's really trying to zone a Nexus, and if he really accomplishes that, he's going to keep them pretty far behind as uh, Kepjack already has a nice CS lead, even with that death. Yeah, he's doing uh, a fantastic job of picking up those minions as Helios coming in from that back side. And Nexus have pushed them back here with the turret, but can they get in? Can they manage to grab anyone with this one? Lust Boy doesn't have flash available. There's the pink ward put down. They want to get complete vision of these bushes to make sure that Lust Boy has that chance to zone. And unfortunately for Blaze, they don't have those boots on Lust Boy to actually get in there and land that Q. So a little bit... Oh, not to mention, you're against a Lulu. I mean, her, her Glitter Lance is basically a, a snare. <laughs> I mean, we always yeah. talk about that because it's an 80% slow. Um, and she also has that speed increase from her W, I believe it is. Oh, comes the True Shot Barrage off towards Blue. Helios actually going to come in here. And he knew that Celeva was there. He's actually going to get hit by the Light Binding, but this Blue is going to be smited away. Good pick up from Blaze. Yeah, great job uh, taking away that Blue buff from Celevar. You're going to really keep him behind. He was the only one really ahead in his lane. But with that blue, uh, you know, not having that blue anymore, the cooldown reduction is really going to kill him, not to mention the mana regen. And we know Lux, you want to use the ultimate pretty much every cooldown you possibly can, which also limits his ganking power, or his ganking ability when he doesn't have the blue to, you know, consistently go to one lane. 
Oh, Captain Jack increasing his lead. 21 CS is what he has right now. Erotic just going up towards the tribush. We have 61 to 26 in that top lane. Zazus is really having a painful time after those two kills came down for Rumble. Yeah, and as I mentioned, him doing well CS under the turret. He hasn't really gained too much since he got back to lane. But he is... He's just, he's just so far behind at this point. I mean, he always has that opportunity to come back. He has that Ignite, he has that ultimate to really just d decimate Flame, but he's never been that opportunity, or he's never gotten that opportunity to go for it just yet. As blue buff given over to Ambition in the middle, and that was what they were trying to do, secure their own blue buff whilst taking away that one from Selva's looks. And it's worked out perfectly for them. Uh, it actually probably has a decent amount of gold to go back and spend here. Uh, sat on 1,300 currently. As we are going to see Zazus getting pressured down by Flame. The equalizer came in and Zazus got nowhere to run. That's 3-0 Flame. He's on fire. Oh, he's actually overheating right now, Joe. <laughs> I mean, there's one problem is that Zazus has. He cannot go head-to-head -head against Flame anymore in this top lane. He can't really go to the bot lane to go 1v2 as well. Theirs isn't that great of a 1v2 champion. But he's just at that point where he needs to let his turret drop. But if Flame keeps playing like this, where he just pushes the wave, lets all the minions die to the turret, he's really just keeping Zazus that much oh. further behind and getting himself that much further ahead. Oh, the Ezra ultimate just missing. Yeah, Ezra ultimate comes in. Captain Jack is going to cleanse off the ultimate out of Varus. There is bullet time. Erotic just about gets away with it, but can they turn this around? The double up comes in. Not enough. He's survived with hardly anything there. Well, they just can't get in for the finisher. And Lost Boy actually going to get ganked here by Overpower. Can he do anything to get us away? Captain Jack actually going in here. On towards Arkwell, as the Cataclysm comes down, he's broke it off. Overpower doing a great job here, but he is going to get that kill. He's going to die afterwards to Helios. He gets his boss reset. Miss Fortune didn't manage to pick anything up on the way in this bottom lane. And Selva here is going to manage to get everything off on towards Ambition. The Ignite is burning. Flash comes in. Another auto attack, and Ambition dies. And with that, with, with, actually, sorry, the bot lane, Joe, we see Arkwell getting dove under turret. Arkwell going to be in trouble as well. Come having a drink there, Jason, as Captain Jack picks up the kill. 6 4 to Blaze. And Salvar playing really solid right now. We, we saw Michelet playing Lux, uh, I think it was two or three games. And uh, he's, he's the rock right now. He's, he's the one keeping him in this game. 2 0. Was able to get a blue buff back from the enemy team, taken away from Ambition. And during that fight, we saw at the bot lane, Ambition started teleporting in onto Jarvan's flag, but he canceled it because he knew he had Salvar, you know, pinched in. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for him well in the end. And uh, to clear out that wave, you see a true shot barrage come across. Selva actually throwing down everything he can defensively. The Nexus looking for a dragon. There was a pink ward down by Blaze, but that's cleared out by the pink ward of a Nexus who start this dragon off. Selva gonna come in to join the party. And to be honest, Blaze can't react to this. Yeah, I mean, it's still in the end though. It, it, it's still gonna hurt a Nexus overall. It helps them get a little bit of gold, but. Zaz is so far behind. I was talking about that before, where he can't go head to head in his lane. He can't go 1v2. He's just roaming around now, trying to create some kill opportunities and open up that dragon for them. But still, 96 TS CS to 40 at this point. Flame has a total of 4,300 gold built up to the 2,300 of Zazus. And the turret, it's still pretty healthy in that top lane. He's just gonna be put, yeah, well, yeah. And the thing is, like, it's probably go down on this way, but he's just being set so far behind. And I'm not really sure that Silver has the damage he needs to catch him. Oh, the Lost Boy's gonna Ooh. die here, that's for sure. As, uh, well, he's taking him a little bit of time, but he is gonna finally go down. They're going on towards Captain Jack, who gets exhausted as well. Overpower gonna be tanking up the turret. He won't go down, but there is the kill from Varus. Double kill, and that's exactly what the Doctor ordered for a Nexus. But the problem is both Flame and Helios are pushing him to this top lane. And here comes the uh, True Shot Barrage across, and he's gonna get the kill! Lovely snipe onto Overpower. Flame here is in trouble, finally the top shut down. That's a nice kill picked up. They did manage to take out Celebrate in the process though. And Zaz, I mean, he was able to pick up that kill right there, gets him a nice, get a, a nice bounty on Flame's head to get him back in this game. Very cool snipe right there, out of ambition. And we saw a Nexus, we had Overpower down there, a three-man uh, push. We saw Overhaul finally die. They did get that double kill, though, over to Arquell, but at what cost? I mean, the top turret dropped, the second one almost about half health at this point, and they lost the middle turret. So in the end, not working out that well for Nexus. Well, they got that one back at the bottom. It's 2,000 gold the lead for the Korean team. A 1-0 to zero up, don't forget, in this best of three. Helios is coming down as well. This is surely bad news for... Well, not erotic. He's managed to get the recall off. The lantern is going to come down. And look at this. They're going to try and sandwich him in there. Here comes Jarvan from the side. And the kill was left to Captain Jack. 
Blaze. They're just starting to group up four men on this bottom side. They can easily push this turret down if they wanted to. However, a lot of uh, a lot of minions being picked up by Captain Jack and, and Joe. Look at the items just we have so far. The Bloodthirster done on Ambition in that middle lane. We have the BF Sword picked up for Captain Jack already. And just uh, the hunting guys, the giants about the sword boots for flame. He hasn't been in any of these fights. He's been pushing that top lane the entire time. But by taking that first tier turret down, he's going to start roaming around. And if they go for a 5 and 5 engage, they're going to win at this point. They can easily siege these turrets down with that double AD carry. And it's really up to Celivar to keep that blue buff. If he can keep it up, then he can keep wave clearing enough to help uh, you know stop a siege on their turrets. Well, we talked to him about earlier on. Saz was taking down flame. That gave him an extra 432 gold. But... He's still a mile behind here in CS, almost double at this point, 57 to 113, and a 2,000 gold difference basically between them. Captain Jack is going to be pushing into this bottom lane as well. He may even have this turret away with him, to be honest, as a true shot barrage comes across. Red buff was safe, but Selva was there to back things up as well. Ambition has to be careful with this one, that he doesn't get dove on or even worse apprehended as the equalizer goes down. Overpower, he's going to die from this one. It's Ambition that picks up the kill. Look, going to land the full combo, but we see Helios going in there. The Cataclysm goes down, apprehended out of it. Can they track down Selva? Another great life finding, but he's pulled in by Lust Boy. No! Up by Jarvan, and Flame takes him out. And we saw Nexus just hesitate there for one little bit of moment. They were like, we can probably get this right as Overpower committed to it, but it's not worth it if you're going to lose two members of your team. Uh, Blaze just pouncing on that opportunity. As we see them going for a push on this mid lane. Flame going back to the top side just to keep farming. And Captain Jack, I mean, we haven't seen him pretty much uh, roam around at all. He's been just pushing his bottom lane, trying to catch up and farm to his mid lane, who, you know, even could be their new AD carry at this rate. I mean, look at that CS. Look at the, the kills and the items. Well, he's doing a fantastic job. 2-2-0. Two, two, Bloodthirster is already done. Got the Locket of the Iron Solari for Jarvan Rumble, who of course has had a brilliant time of things. 4-1-2, 124 CS, Haunting Guys, Sork Shoes, Giant's Belt, that cloth armor has been pretty much all he needed uh, in this top lane to stop him uh, having any problems with Darius. Teleport coming in at Dragon. Yeah, and it's going to be Ezreal coming in there. Which way is he going to go? Actually, may just avoid the site here as he comes around the side. True Shot Barrage going to give his position away, but he'll be able to 1v1 Arquell, that's for sure. That's where is the Arcane Shift. He needs that to come up here. Not quite getting the slow that they wanted, and a Ooh. flash burn by Varus. Oh, and then they still do pick up a turret off of that. Teleport wasted, but in the end, it doesn't really matter when they get that. Oh, the top one, you're seeing Flame dive on the Zazus right there. Using that ultimate just to clear the wave and pressure him out. Look at the level difference, 12 to 10. Yeah, the level 2 ultimate versus level 1, which is going to be a real huge factor. Oh, you get the nice pull of the Celebar! Oh, pulled into the bullet time. What a combo. Ambition is there. Overpower goes in. He's going to have to use his ultimate to knock them away and get back off to safety. But well, that old trap, he like, didn't really face check it, obviously, because he got locked <laughs> in. But when you've got no vision and you know they were around that bottom lane with three, that was a risky move. His erotic's going to move in there as well. Or Renex is going to try and turn this one around. They can't catch them. And over in the mid lane, we do see Hedos just pushing that turret. We see in the top lane, the same thing happening with Flame. And they're just pushing them on all fronts at this point. And there's really no way a Nexus can react to this. They need, they, they just really need Zazus to be 11. They need him to get a little bit more tank as we do see Hedos get engaged upon, but should be escaping if we see Flame come down. Yeah, obviously, Erotic gonna really help with this one, but Overpower really doesn't have the damage as the Wild Growth comes in. Helios gonna flash over. Overpower gonna follow him in there. Thanks to that Water's Ambition in the bottom lane. He's going in. For, oh, he's missed his final Q. Helios is still running from Overpower. I'm not sure that he's gonna be able to escape it. Flash from Overpower. He's so ridiculously tanky there. Overpower down to just a third of his HP as he smites a minion just for fun to get away. Why not have the extra gold? And now Erotic is in all kinds of trouble. Captain Jack coming in from the side. Lost Boy going to wait here to get the grab on him, but Selva in the bottom lane is finally going to go down to Ambition. Zazas in the top lane is going very, very low. Finished off by the Flame Spitter. The, uh, the turret was hitting him as well. And he was six bleeding health. away and he survives with six health. Six health and that one turret uh, hit almost got him killed right there. With Blaze, I mean, fighting on all fronts. We saw Flame actually farming the double golems while, while we saw Helios running away. I mean, he just let Darius leave the lane. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to help you. I want to farm up. Dragon is up at this point. And the Nexus, I mean, this would this would be amazing if they can steal us away, but Selvar being dead for another seven seconds won't be up in time to actually ult that dragon and potentially steal it away. And there's the lantern down, and that's going to bring Ezreal flying into the dragon pit. And this is going to be a further extension of the gold lead for Blaze. 30,000 to 24,000 solid lead that they have at this point. 7.5k to 4.3 in that top lane, just getting a bit ridiculous at this point. 
thousand gold in the uh, between Ezreal and Lux. Jungle, four and a half thousand on Sin to the six thousand on Jarvan, and the AD carries is also over a thousand gold. You know, even this, even though this game looks really one-sided at this point, there is a chance that Nexus can come back. I've actually a very easy chance with what they have. That combo of the Darius ultimate with you know five stacks bleed. And then the Lux damage, the ultimate off of that as well. You can kill pretty much anyone on the enemy team at this point, even with how tanky they are. They have the ability oh. to do it if they want. They just have to just fight the fights they wanted to, not let uh, Blaze control the game. Oh, Lux does take it there. So Salvar at least secures that for him, and that's going to that's be really crucial for them to hold this game out. Yeah, that was uh, very interesting around the blue buff there. Ult is going to be exchanged. You have the last whisper first item on the uh, Varus. What do you think about that one, Jason? Um, to be honest, not really a big fan of it. Look at the enemy team. There's no real armor built up except the ninja tab. He's currently on Helios. He does give a nice little aura with that flag, but you kind of need a Bloodthirster. You need maybe an Infinity's Edge. You just need some sort of big damage item because your, your team's based on bursting someone down and then you know, potentially getting the resets on Zazus. And with that last Whisper, it's not really going to give you exactly what you need. Jarvan there just pushed that bottom lane completely out. Flame is continuing to push the top in towards the inner turret as Ambition going in here uh, for the red buff. Lost boy and Captain Jack almost getting caught out there, but Anexis wise in their choices not to push. Yeah, I mean, they did, I don't think they knew that four members of CJ Blaze were up there in that top side of the jungle as this turret not going to last any longer here as they do go for that push. And the rotation of Anexis, it's, it's a little bit slow at this point. I mean, they can't really afford to go into their jungle. They need some sort of Oracle maybe on Erotic to clear that out so they get some sort of control back. But at this, po at this point in time, they pretty much concede all outer turrets because they're not worrying up their own jungle. They're not, you know, trying to counter the vision. Oh, our Krull oh. gets pulled! Yeah, that's just dead. Uh, <laughs> you're not getting away from that one. There's a True Shot Barrage comes across. That's going to clear out this minion wave. Here comes Jarvan diving in. Flash away. As used there by, um, by Erotic to get away from that on Lulu. But they've taken the turret and that's what they came here to do. Are they going to go any deeper on this one? Doesn't look like it. Ambition was trying to recall in that corner bush and a Nexus, at least for now, keep that turret intact. Yeah, we do see Blaze has quite a, good, uh, quite a bit of gold to spend when they do want to back. But as you see right now, I mean, they're just strangling a Nexus at this point. They're taking away all the jungle camps. They're keeping the lanes pushed up as much as possible. They're, and we have overpower. I mean, he's behind in his build at this point. He's trying to go head to head against Ambition, but I'm pretty sure he actually won't be able to get the skill. I think he will. As Ambition's that, got yeah. no mana. And as we say that as well, he turns around and gets a kill. <laughs> he starts dancing in there knowing, he, knowing he's dead, but <sighs> Ambition right there. I mean, he has that Bloodthirster, has a zeal, doesn't really yeah. even need mana at this point. He's an auto attack champion. Uh, well, right now he's most likely an auto or more likely an auto attack champion since he doesn't have a Triforce. And when do you ever see that built any <clears throat> anymore on Ezreal? Now, what we are seeing, though, is a static shift. Just picked up after that next kill from Ambition. He's now 5 2 1. You've got Rumble on 5 1 2, Jarvan 3 1 7. Support even 1 2 5 at this point. And the gold leads really starting to get out of hand. 9,200 to 5,200 in that top lane. You just can't really hope to keep up when you've got that kind of bad ratio working against you. Yeah, I was just taking a quick look at uh, Helios' items. I actually love exactly what he did. I mean, he knows that the enemy team... Well, no, no, hold on. Let me, let me finish. The, no, he, I was just laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> just playing around with the lantern in the bush there. Um, like. like, he looked at the enemy team. He realized they're, they're going for a burst on one champion. So what he, what he did was picked up the Lock of Darren Solari, picked up an Aegis, so he makes his entire team tank enough to survive any kind of burst that a Nexus is going to put out. Great itemization out of him. Well, top lane pushed through as well. No inner turrets left. The Nexus are down to their base already. Here's the ward in the back of the Baron Pit. Lost Boy going to take that one away. And now Nexus have a bit of a tough decision on their hands. Do they go blindly through the jungle and try and stop Baron? Or do they let Blaze get such a, a you know an even more enormous lead from it? Well, I think it all depends on Selivar if he has that blue buff. Uh, currently, he does not at this point. They have really good wave clear with the Glitter Lance, with the damage out of Lux, the Q out of uh, out of Varus. They can do that extremely well. They can't really fight the Baron. They can't go head to head. As you see, Ambition get locked down by Arkel, but I'm pretty sure Arkel is going to turn this around on them. He could 1v1 him here, but 1 versus 2 might be a little <laughs> bit three. too steep. Or 3 as Darius comes in there at the end, manages to uh, secure the kill. And there was Lulu just to put a ward down in the back of Baron, just in time to see Blaze pick it up. Yeah, and, and we, we're going to have Blaze with that Baron, but Anexus, like I was saying before, they have really good wave clear at this point. They can hold them off, but they have to be worried about Blaze just engaging upon them under the turret. They have the Rebel Ultimate to slow you down and really cut you off. They have that Jarvan Cataclysm. If you don't have Flash, then you're pretty much locked in there. Then you have the Bullet Time on top of that. You have the Thresh Ultimate. 
<laughs> as you hear Ezreal, was that his, is that his it, joke? It, it was in having a dance in the middle lane. Oh, okay. Not got much to dance about though, to be honest. Not looking good for an Nexus, already worn down. Here is Lost Boy, does have his flash available if he has the chance to use it. Here comes the laser, he gets the flash, but Overpower got a flash to take the kill as well. Oh, we do Bit see careless. Flame coming in from behind though. This could be very bad for a Nexus. Are they going to be able to lock him in? Yes, he locks three and bullet time comes across. That's at least two men dead from this one. It may even be more as Celeb are going to be chased down here by Helios. He needs to predict perfectly what's going to happen as he flashes over to the left hand side. Only Captain Jack able to keep the uh, pace up to try and get in there for him, but can he lock it down? There's the shield from Celebert. Captain Jack needs just a couple more hits and not quite. Oh, dodges the Ezreal ultimate as well. And Celebert stays alive. Talk about being between a rock and a hard place right there. The perfect, like, pixel perfect position right there saved his life. As you see, Overpower just dancing away, knowing he can't really defend this turret at this point. But, I mean, in Nexus, they're picking off kills one by one onto Blaze, and if Blaze doesn't stop that from happening, they, they can get back in this game. Well, it's definitely a long way to go for them. Overpower, definitely more interested in uh, making sure his dancers get to the main stage here. <laughs> Although he has been impressive, I'll, I'll give yeah, him that. Has. The last two games of the laser comes through. Ambition going to get caught. The dance was all a big charade. Flame gets pulled in there as well. He's got five men of an X. He's beating down him. Zazus is going to slam it home. And that is 18 to 12, but still a 10k gold lead. Yeah, still 10k gold lead. But Nexus is showing they haven't given up just yet. They're getting back in this game. That was a perfect job by uh, Silver to lock down Ambition. And everyone just collapsed right on top of him. Zazus with that ultimate still being up. They have that potential to you know start pushing a couple turns down. Even get a, a killer here too. Or kill or two here, easy for me to say, and they should be able to secure these two turrets. Well, so far looking good for them. Lost Boy actually getting uh, initiated on there by Overpower, going to throw the box in, but the CC coming out of a Nexus is pretty damn high. Jarvan Ultimate comes in, here is Misfortune from the side, they get the one kill, but they risk dying more here, double kill from Misfortune. Can Captain Jack escape from this one? There's a true shot barrage. Captain Jack is going to make it three. Can he take the fourth here onto Zazas? I think he can. Zazas got absolutely no mana. There is the quadra kill. He may even be able to chase through here. Four all that Penta, Arquell just off to the side. What's he got to really go for this? No Ghost available, but he may just be able to sneak it down. Or Ambition can come in and steal it away from him. He gets slowed by Arquell, but here comes Ambition. He's not escaping this one, and that will be an ace for CJ Blaze. And right as we talk about Nexus getting back into the game, getting those kills, they got kited so hard by Captain Jack right there. Perfect positioning by him, and that shows you why he's one of the best, if not the best, AD carry in the world. That uh, bot lane pushing up very heavily as the rest of uh, Blaze pushes up this mid lane here. And they should, should be able to get an inhibitor turret off this. It this one like, in the middle is already low. That last fight was like five versus two, five versus one. But like, and <laughs> he was like five on three. Died. Yeah. They just all died to it. And that just shows you really how far ahead here Blaze are as we haven't seen Overpower coming in once again on towards Flame. But he just turns around, goes in onto Overpower. Can he get the kill? Wild Growth. Does in fact come down in the end. Zazas is right in the middle of them. A laser comes across. Zazas is going to fall there. It was a lantern thrown in his direction. It looked like it was a lantern that killed him. Smacked him on, <laughs> smacked him on the head with a lantern. Uh, Flame gets ulted up by Varus. Going to switch to Ambition. Not going to be followed up though. Only three men alive at this point for a Nexus. Blaze are rocking this one. Where are they going next? Top turret, of course, is down to that inhibitor. Minion's going to come through. And Blaze going to look for that second one here. The thing is, that, that last fight we did see in the mid lane, and Nexus could have taken that. They really could have. The only problem was, Zazus actually missed his ultimate. He, uh, he hit it, but didn't get the kill with it, so he lost the reset. If he had that up, he could have killed Captain Jack. And then also this last engage you just saw, he could have 1v1 Captain Jack right there, finished him off, switched onto the next target. But it was just all because of that one missed ultimate that it really just snowballed out of his favor. Yeah, but I don't think he can 1v1 Captain Jack. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Well, he had, he had him at about a third health right there, but didn't have his ultimate available to do anything. And that's, that's why I'm saying if he had it up, probably could have gotten that kill. He would have died eventually anyways, but... That, that really is a big thing. Like, they're depending on their, uh, Zazas to get that reset and Celebrar to catch someone with that life binding. And if they do it, we've seen it happen, they will get the kills. But if they fail it, then it's just going to go horribly wrong for them. Blade of the Ruin King picked up as well as that Bloodthirst, the Last Whisper, Double Doran's Blade for Misfortune for Ezreal. Similar thing. Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, and that Static Shiv. Over on the other side, Blade of the Ruin King. And the last whisper. What do you think to this uh, this build from Varus? Oh, 
Not to be honest, not really a big fan of it. I mean, you need some sort of sustain against this team. They have that Rumble Ultimate to, to hit you. I mean, you need life still in this in this situation. He doesn't have any at this point with that with that Doran's Blade alone. He needs something to, to really keep his sustain up and be able to fight. Oh, sorry, he does have the Blade of the Rune King. He does have that 10%, but in the end, you need some attack speed on him as well. And you need to be able to crit, especially with that Last Whisper. If he can farm up, that Last Whisper is going to be, you know, worth it in the end, but he hasn't been able to yet. He's, he's been limited to 157 farm at this point, 8,000 gold total to 11,700 of his counterpart. Garvin pushing the middle lane. Ambition going to be pushing that bottom lane through as well here with the double buff. Flame is on his own in the middle. Actually, I say he's alone. Captain Jack is there. They're going to try and close Jarvan in. The overpower going in towards Helios, to be honest, doesn't do all that much damage. See why with the uh, build, all, all defensive items, all tanky items coming out for Zin at this point. Here is Ambition, though. Will land a couple of uh, abilities on towards Erotic, and he's going to just dive away with that Arcane Shift. But Erotic really piling the pressure on. Here is Helios. Actually, he's going to put the Cataclysm down. Overpower flashes away from it. Definitely worth it from Helios there. Got hit with a Light Binding at the end. But they have got not a lot to work with, I think we can call it here in Nexus in terms of what's left of their base. There's the binding coming across. Lost Boy gonna get hit. The laser was about half a mile from his target as we are gonna see the combination of Misfortune and Ezreal to pick up the kill. They take the turret. The box is down here as well from Lost Boy. And this inhibitor completely open for the taking for CJ Enter's plays. Are they gonna go into the semi-finals here with this push? Erotic goes down. It's Ambition that picks that one up to go on a killing spree. Captain Jack does finish off the inhibitor. Are they gonna try and finish the game? Or are they going to go to the top side where they can have the third and final inhibitor taken away? Actually, Overpower coming straight in here on towards Flame, who just turns around the damage. Overpower very low. Zonia's Hourglass used by Flame to keep himself safe. There is the Randuin's used by Zazas, but he's pulled back into him. The damage is going to be enough. He uses the ultimate. That won't get him any kills, but Overpower comes back from the base. Captain Jack using the cleanse there, but they turn it around again. Overpower going to get destroyed. Ambition in the meantime was hammered away on towards Arquell. That are four men down. It's now only Silver, but they've got no Nexus turrets left up and Blaze are focusing it down. They are going to be taking the victory here unless Silver can pull out some absolute miracle. There is Lulu taking